He's a boy. <laughs> Well, the next time we come back here, you're going to have a brother. I don't think he's too thrilled about that. I just uh, got a text from Chelsea with a uh, picture of her in her hospital gown and in the bed ready to go. She's all checked in. And I'm pulling out of the neighborhood with a car full of stuff. It's now October 2nd. I brought my first load in, and uh, it is stinking hot outside, unfortunately. So, got several more trips to go. So, we're in the hospital, and what you update on what's going on? Um, well, I'm at a 2 and 80% effaced. The goal is that the contractions would start on their own, but if not, they start Pitocin in like 12 hours, so at like 5.30 a.m. Now that it's actually happening, it's kind of like surreal. It's scary. I don't, I'm having trouble processing it all. Chelsea's about to get the Pitocin um, in about 10 minutes. And, um, she let me out of bed. She's having a lot of cramping and stuff, so I think she's definitely ready for the epidural whenever she can. Well, she's gotten some Pitocin and also some morphine because her contractions have really started kicking in. You can see uh, her contractions there on the bottom line. They're pretty steady now. Just think, from this point forward, you're not gonna have much pain. Yeah, not being needle right now. Now had the epidural. <laughs> this is Chelsea's cheek blanket. I've never understood this, but she has to have a fuzzy blanket by her head at all times, up against her cheek. So this is her cheek blanket, and she never sleeps without it. It literally. Okay, she said, "Okay, you're gonna feel some burning," and I didn't feel burning. And then she said. You're gonna feel some sensations, and I felt it didn't hurt, but it felt like something I never felt before. So like was uncomfortable. Like, yeah, I was like freaky. But then everything was gone, and I had a contraction, and I can feel it getting tight, but there's no pain. Yeah, like, things just got really intense for a while. Oh, I just, <laughs> it's the best decision ever. <laughs> And she just came and checked you again, and you were at nine centimeters dilated. Eight to nine. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha
Incredible. My hair. Now let's go see. I'd have to say he looks a little bit like that. I think so. Don't you think? <laughs> Who's he look like? I think he looks, he looks like a little bit like Zach. Like Zach. Oh yeah. He's a little Zach. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. That is my face you're wearing. <laughs> yes it is. That's my face you're wearing. Yeah. Look at those big hands. You got big hands and feet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll have to put the grams in the computer and see what it comes out to because it's either going to round to 7 1 or stay at 7 even. Okay. So, sorry, we don't know for sure yet. That's okay. But, right at 7. Well, he's had his first feeding. And now he's getting some skin to skin. He seemed like he wanted to fall asleep while he was feeding. And now he's, he's, a, little fussy. he's a little alert. He had a nice, good big burp. He's a, his first black eye. Yeah. <laughs> from birth, not from. I don't see it right there. Not from anything else. There we go. It's like he calms down when I talk. It's yeah. so sweet. Your voice soothes him. Mm. Zeke, buddy. I swear he recognized my voice when he was over here right after birth because he was a little fussy and I started talking to him and he kind of he tried opening his eyes to see me and he stopped fussing. There you go. His weight is seven pounds one ounce. And he was 20 inches long. It's okay. Shh, shh, shh. Yeah. 
Oh, he's so little and tender. Mm -hmm. Oh, there you go. His eyes are wide open. They are? Yeah. Well, my mommy's aren't. <laughs> oh. I haven't slept in 24 hours. And I have food waiting for me. Oh. I haven't eaten in over 24 hours. So I'm tired and hungry. But I feel good. That was the blanket, not my fart. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you say. Hmm. We got ourselves a little October 3rd baby. What do you want to be for Halloween? What do you think? chill back there. Yeah, he's been asleep ever since we left that room. I'm so ready to be home. I bet. Three days, like I literally have not left that room. And I'm not the type to be <laughs> cooped up in a room. It's Thursday, October 5th. Yes. He's two days old. It's was... so nice that we only live two minutes away. Yes. Me. What's on the radio when we bring our son home? Goodwin is a member of the Poor Boys Car Club no. and Shit's Family Dentist. No. I don't know this song. Thank you, it's old. <laughs> My mom's were mom's. white and now they're pink. We're home! Yeah, that's such a good, fun little drive. <laughs> home! Alright. Can we get him out of the car now? Let's he's just gonna... leave him in there. He's gonna see home for the first time and he's gonna meet our dog for the first time. How's it going in there, buddy? My little yellow baby. <laughs> he's just so <laughs> chill. We're gonna go in the front. Perfect. Hey, sweetie. We'll come back for the rest of the stuff. Hi, baby girl. This is your first time outside. Is it bright? How yeah. do you feel, Dad? I feel good to be home. Mm-hmm. My mom's. They're pink. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. They were white. Are we glad we finished painting these doors? Yeah. Hi, buddy. Hi, sweetie puppy. Hey. My Lila, come on. You meet your brother? Uh, well, where do you need? You want to meet Zeke? Hi. Hi. Hi, buddy. Hi, Hi to me. He's less interested in Zeke and more interested in you. He's a mama's boy. His tail's wagging. He is another Yeah, that's a tiny baby. That's a tiny baby. Hi. So he's good then? 
Okay. Nope, that's my capacity. Oh. We'll have to disinfect that. Oh, crap. And there. Yeah. What is that? He looks very yellow on this light. <laughs> He's just hanging there. He's like, life is now all as it should be. Mommy is back. Last time I was in this house, I was pregnant. It's weird. He's like, now I'm fine. I don't care about the baby. <laughs> I got my mom. What are we all just standing around for? Let's go play or something. Or let me sleep. Let's all sleep together. Okay.